Welcome into our studio and our numbers video. John's on the couch from View Marketing Pro. Dad's across from me, Todd, and I'm Hudson. Todd and I, Dad, full-time voiceover talents. Johnny runs a direct email marketing business for voiceover talents like myself and my dad. And so. he's just toying with the idea of getting into voiceover, aren't mm. you, John? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think I have a great voice. <laughs> you do have so. a very nice voice, but you don't. You just, you just, your mission in life is working with VO Marketing Pro. Yes, that's Dad likes to mission. serve. He likes to serve and protect. Yeah, that's yeah. what John likes to do. All right, we will start out with our earnings, income, numbers, platform stuff. But first, we'll start with John and Vomp. See how you guys did. So we didn't send out this week, given the holiday. So you, we we still wanted to share our numbers <clears throat> because we did get some stuff in. Nice. Warm responses. Not uh, we got eight warm responses, and you might say, "Well, where did that come from?" If you didn't send out, well, some of them come from a while back, and so we just count the ones that come in that week. So some of them may have come in from January. I'm not. I don't know if that's the case, but just or March. But that's if it comes in July this of this week. That's when we count it. Um, so we had eight warm warm responses, three auditions, and five jobs reported. Wow. Lauren Gobis, Deanna Johnston, Bill DeWeese, Todd Barsness, and Hudson Barsness. Again, sure we did. only report dads or Todd's when it is a new client. Um, and then you might also notice uh, we had a question from our group that ties right into this, so I'll Thanks. answer it quickly. Um, but we had a person ask if the jobs, where the jobs mostly come from. It, it was the basic question and you may notice that a lot of these come that these came from people if you look at our website and roster that most of these people are on that that is not necessarily the case that it's coming from jobs specifically that were directed to the roster this is their direct email marketing and that's what I would say correct me if I'm wrong I know that I'm in charge of it but Joe Mm. Joe's not here to verify and um but I, I know that a lot of the, the majority of these jobs come from just the direct email marketing. And then a lot of these people that are, that I mentioned or that I'd have mentioned that we post on our Facebook have been with us for quite some time and doing the direct email marketing, um, for some time and sending out lots of emails. There's varying degrees of how many emails they are sending out. And then, uh, also, uh, our roster is by invite only. So some of these people by being with for, that isn't necessarily the criteria, but part of it is being out, being with us for a while. They've been invited to the roster. So just to be clear, we are building our roster out. It's still pretty, pretty young. Um, but that's not when I mention these j- names, it doesn't mean that they're coming from the roster necessarily. Some of them are, um, but a lot of them are coming just from their own direct email marketing e- efforts, whether it's a new client or it's a recurring client. So. Hang in there with your direct email marketing, whether you do it with us or we, whether you decide to, to leave or stay or, or do your own hybrid approach or do your own direct email marketing. But we just want to be clear and op- upfront that there is benefits to being on the roster because there's emails that go out and things like that. And there, there it is invite, but it's not necessarily that everybody's just getting these jobs that we report from our roster. Mm-hmm. Is that I clear? Would, yeah, yeah. I would almost guess. And, and Joe would have a better idea. In fact, he could track it down, I'm sure. We could come up with this number. And it, in one sense, it's not that important. But I would almost guess that 80% of yes. our jobs, maybe a little bit more, come from direct email marketing. Not right now, the roster. Right now. But that's why Drew and uh, Becky, my wife, the boy's mom, that's why you guys are doing cold calls. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to develop relationships with video production companies and ad agencies where they go to our roster and they look regularly or only exclusively Mm -hmm. for VO Marketing Pro's voice roster and say, hey, need a voiceover, we go to Vomp. And uh, and that that Mm -hmm. happens with some, but it just takes time, just like it's taking you time to build your business, you time to build your business. Me, it took me time to build business, just like it does any. It's taking us time with the VO Marketing Pro's voice roster to push that boulder up the hill to make sure that we have people. And hopefully, we'll try to get 10 
or 12 companies that almost exclusively use us. And then by next year, we'll have 15 or 20. Mm -hmm. And pretty soon, maybe there will be more like a 75-25 a or a 65-35 with direct email marketing as opposed to the voice roster. So that's our well, that's what we're shooting for. But yeah, right I, now, because it's fairly new, like you said, and some of these... Some of these people have been with us doing direct email marketing for over two years now. They're getting quite a few jobs on direct email marketing. Correct. Right? Are we saying the yeah, same thing? Yeah, and I just want to make sure that we were on the same page because yeah. we want to be open. Um, we know that pe a fair amount of people are watching these numbers videos, and so we want to make sure we're clear. Yeah. So if something isn't clear, please yeah. follow up. But yeah. yes, we just I just want to address that because I thought it was a good question. I yeah. thought it was a good question that mm -hmm. the person posed. Um, and some of it's just, like Dad said, that there's just – people that have been on there, we've invited them to be on the roster and they're also successful there with their direct email marketing. So, you know, hang in there. Another thing you said that might have slipped by people, though you've said it before, and I want them to catch this. Everybody that gets reported, jobs reported for VO Marketing Pro, those include recurring. Correct. We want to celebrate your wins. For me, it's only, whenever you hear me or see me posted in a Facebook that I've gotten a new job, it's only new, new clients. clients, brand new clients that I've just booked with. And the reason we do that, and it's not to brag, it's just that I've been doing this for 12 years, is that I have so many recurring direct email marketing clients, I would be, I would be putting down 5 to 10 to 15 every single week. Um, and, 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 and here's my point. You said it right at the end, hang in there, because someday you, if you if you hang in there, we might have to say, so-and-so, we can't keep mentioning all of your recurring clients. We're just going to mention your new clients from now, because you have too many of them. That would be a great problem to have. But yep. that could happen, because it's happened with me. So anyway, I just wanted to highlight that, too, a little bit, just to keep people encouraged. It's, again, not to focus on my situation so much as a, oh, you know, but uh, more about, yeah, I could have that happen. Yep. And then just, yeah, and hang in there too. Uh, we, we, we evaluate what the people that join and how long they've been with us. And we may invite, there might be an invite to our roster. Yeah. And, and it does have, it does have some benefits to it, just more emails sent out mm -hmm. regarding the roster because it's sent out of dad's, dad's database by his assistant. There's cold <laughs> calls and things like that. But that's not. Like I've said last, the last time I'll say it is that's not the majority of our work is coming from the roster. So that's it. That's I'll good. Quit. Thank you. Good. Good week. All right. On to my numbers. I also did not send out this week. Uh, zero warm responses. Zero auditions. Um, but I did have a new client before this week. I was talking with somebody and talk. I had, I was in talks with somebody before this past week, and uh, they sent me an audition last week. I counted that down last week and I won the job $250 new client that was fun uh, and then I booked two jobs on Upwork one for $125 another one for $350 um, and then I booked five jobs on Fiverr $35 um, $30 $10 $10 and $5 I just started working I bought a, uh, a membership on voice one two three and I'm gonna be trying to figure that platform out a little bit and see if I can replicate what I've been able to do on Upwork because that's been working well for me. Uh, and then I did eight hours of editing for my dad this week for a grand total of $919.50. So I was I did better than I thought I would. Last week I said that it might be slow because of 4th of July, but yeah. I powered through it, and yeah. today I got a couple jobs, which was really nice, and yeah. put me right over the top. What we're doing is is we're we've set a goal last year was 500 a week for Hudson this year it's 750 and uh, over the last month or so mm -hmm. he's been chugging right along getting over that regularly so good job that's a short week uh i think that a lot of people had monday off of course tuesday you know i'm talking about the united states um, but I think there was a fair amount of people that took Wednesday off, and you guys decided not to send out for that very reason, both of you. I don't even know if my assistant Andy sent out. My guess would be he didn't. I think um, two of the jobs that I booked, the, the, the new client and then the <clears throat> 125, those were the only two from Upwork, were the only two from the United States. So my, the other ones were... Um, yeah. 
international. Overseas, so yeah. that was very nice. My week was this, it was a two day week. I, I got home Wednesday afternoon and did a couple of projects, but uh, some of them were just fixes, so I didn't really make too much money on Wednesday. <laughs> Fiverr was only $546 this week. Uh, direct email marketing was $2,605, nothing on Upwork. Uh, I think I've struck out two weeks in a row. Um, the total this week, $3,151 for a two-day week. $3,151. And if you saw in the Facebook post, I had a new client from Indianapolis, I think, Indiana. Yep, Indianapolis, yep. Indiana. So uh, $3,151 for my two-day week. Is that better or worse than you thought you would do? Is that better? Uh, yeah, I think it is a little better. Sure. Um, That's good. You're always hopeful, but... Um, yeah, I, 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 I didn't know what to expect with it being, and next year will be kind of the same because 4th of July will be Wednesday, right in the middle of the week. That might even be Worse, more hurtful. Maybe. We'll see. We'll just see. All right. Anything, any passing thoughts or anything no, I extra that gold was good. I appreciate, we yeah. appreciate the person asking mm -hmm. the question. Yep. We always appreciate feedback. We don't expect you to agree with everything, yep. especially I say, whether it's in our Todd's Tips or... Uh, our 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 uh, numbers video, but uh, we're glad you're watching and and thank you and thank you for passing on the word and subscribing and uh, and uh, hitting the bell notification. I'm I'm just saying what other people say. Uh, what else saying. do they say? I um, just if you're watching, interested, subscribing. Go ahead. If you're interested in more voiceover content like these videos, these are our numbers videos. They have their own playlist, um, and then we also have Todd's tips, which are. Um, another voiceover related playlist um, that usually plays before this. Um, but if you have questions ever about dad's journey, uh, maybe watching me kind of grow up in the voiceover world, we also are happy to take on your questions if you want them to be, if you want to ask us personal questions, you can email us uh, personally and stuff like that. Uh, Demond will put my email here, HudsonBarsness at yahoo.com. And uh, we can keep, you know, you anonymous, or if you want your name said, whatever, we'll we'll sit on the couch, Dad. Now we've got a topic that we've got to do. We've just it's kind of gotten away from us, so we're going to do that here soon. And let's get Johnny involved <laughs> in that because I think that if I'm remembering the, it's, it's his journey. It's, yeah, it's, your, it's they wanted journey. me to talk through how I started and stuff uh -huh. like that, and you were there from the beginning, so it may, might be nice to have you. You might remember some things that I don't remember. So, yep, yeah, no, just yeah, just uh, keep hanging in there. But like we say a lot, do. Do what's best for your business. It's none of our business. So direct email marketing works. If it works on your, works just for you, you know, you're doing it. We have people that are doing it their own. Do what's best for your business. So. All right. All we'll see you Wednesday if you check out our podcast. 65th episode. So see you later.